Even though that he revealed his will that you will be holy, that you will learn Torah, that you will live in the Holy Land, that you will and will and will, great. He revealed his will. But between the will to the level that we're holding, there is, there is a huge distance. And we cannot lie to Hashem and to say, yes, Hashem, I want to be holy, I want to be pure, I want to learn Torah, when I'm not. Because, okay, let's see, if you want to learn Torah, why the books are not open on your table? Why are you not memorizing Mishnayot while you're driving, while you're in the bus, while you're in the light train? Why, when you have five minutes, you open your phone instead of opening the books? So, say the truth. You don't really want to learn. You want to want to learn, maybe. Maybe you want to want to want to want to learn. Maybe. That's, uh, that's closer to the truth. So, as an honest person that really want to want the truth, say to Hashem, I want to want it. Can you please help me with my will that I will really want to learn? Instead of saying, Hashem, let me learn Torah. Someone is holding you from back from, from buying a small tiny book of Mishnayot and, and never take your eyes off of it. No one is holding you back from buying a small Sefer Zohar and to learn Zohar and Mishnayot and Midrashim and Likute Moran and Alachot and Shulchan Aruch and Gemara. And Someone is holding you back? No one. Just stop lying to yourself. That's the, that's the main thing. Let's stop lying to ourselves. And then, when you stop lying to yourself, now you can talk about your weaknesses, about your lackings. Now you can say to Hashem, Hashem, you know, it's very hard. I'm finding myself that... Uh, I don't really want to learn so much, but I understand that I should, so can you help me with that? So that was a prayer of truth. A prayer of truth will be answered because Hashem is close to everyone that calls Him with truth. So you can lie to Hashem Yitbarach for years. Hashem, make me holy. Hashem, make me pure. Hashem, take me this. Hashem, take me there. Hashem, do this with me. Hashem, let me... And, and those prayers will not going to be answered. Because you're lying to yourself and you think you can pretend to be someone that you're not. But to Hashem Yitbarach you cannot lie because when you open your mouth with lies, He's not there anymore. Because Dover Shkarim cannot stand in front of Hashem. A liar person cannot stand in front of Hashem. Hashem is disgusting from, from, from liars, so He's running away. He's just going somewhere else. He's not accepting those lies, those fake prayers. But if you're going to come from a point of truth and say to Hashem Yitbarach, please help me. Please let me want you. Please let me feel you. Please let me feel that you love me. I think that if I'm going to feel that you love me, it's going to help me to want to learn your wisdom, means your Torah, a little bit more. more. And those prayers will be answered. And then you're going to develop one step after the other. And it's going to be balanced. And it's going to be in... in, 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 in in your vessels, it's going to be according to your abilities. And then you're going to understand what that you're learning. And maybe what that you need to learn in the beginning is not Zohar and Midrashim. It's not the highest secrets of, of the wisdom of creation. Sefer Yetzirah, book of creation that been uh, written by Avraham Avinu. No. Maybe you still need to learn how to listen to the voice of your wife. How to have patience with your children how to behave to your friends in, in, in your company, how to your colleagues, how, how to take a shower every day, how to put the order on, not to, to, to stink the world. Maybe those are things that you still need to learn, and it's okay. Because it's better that you're going to learn those things than that you're going to imagine to yourself that you're so called, so to say, so to speak, so called Talmid Chacham already because you know Gmarot and you know Mishnayot and you know Zohar and you learn Midrashim already and you don't even take a shower every day. And then when people are going to cross close by to you in the street, they're going to smell the smell of your sweat and, and it's going to be a disgrace for all of the Torah learners. It's going to be Chilul Hashem. You're going to disgrace the name of Hashem. That people are going to say, oh, look, it's so disgusting and, and he is learning Torah. So how are you respecting the Torah if you don't respect yourself? You haven't learned how to respect yourself. So how can you respect others? So you need to learn the things, the, the Aleph Bet, the, the basics. First of all, we need to start with the basics. And for one person, 
he really going to feel stupid when he's going to uh, realize how far he is, how low he is. But again, like we said before, the question is what you really desire. You really desire, your real will is to do the right thing, really to succeed, really to grow, really to connect yourself to Hashem, or that you want to be called a Talmid Chacham, a righteous man, you want the honor, or you want the success, you want the, the, the money, what, what, what are you really after? If you're really after the truth, so ask for the truth. And then when it will come, so you will be able to enjoy it. And you won't be insulted from the insultings, from the shames. Because for you, it's going to be, like David HaMelech said, King David said, Sas I'm happy, I'm excited to hear your words, even if those words are words of rebuke, even if those words are words of, of shaming me, showing to me the low level that I'm holding. Sas I'm going to be happy and excited, like I found a huge treasure. A loot. Why? Because my desire is to learn and not to be called righteous, not to be known as pure or holy or whatever. I'm not looking for the titles, the degrees. I'm looking for the labor. I'm looking for the truth. I'm looking to fix myself. So if you want that, you will not going to be insulted from your weaknesses. You will not going to be ashamed from the shames that are attacking you and washing you. Because you're going to just enjoy that wash. You're going to just understand that that's your way of recovering, of climbing up from your lackings, from your weaknesses. And by doing that, you're going to just keep on growing and growing. On that, Rabbi Nachman of Breslev is saying, when a person he knows, that everything that happens with him in his life is for his own good. So that aspect, it's like to live in the world to come. Why? Because the person in the world to come, the soul in the world to come, will just, you, 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 if you drop one drop of water to the ocean, so what's going to happen to that Ripples. drop? It's it's ripples. ripples. It, it it it's gonna ripples. It's just gonna grow and expand and so if it's a satisfying process for that drop of water, so it's just gonna enjoy more and more because it's gonna experience more of the ocean and gonna feel more of the ocean. So when the soul is is reaching the world to come, it experiences Hashem. And it's just being nullified and growing more and more and more and in infinity. So it's a process of, 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 of eternal joy and, and happiness in the world to come. Always growing and, and, and achieving more and more and more. But when a person in this world understands that wisdom also, that every experience that he's going through in this world is educating him, is helping him, is coming for his own good, so he can start sensing that sense, that feeling already from this world. Because he's learning and developing from every situation. It all depends on your will. If your will is aimed to really to commit yourself to Hashem, really to glue yourself to Hashem, so you will learn from every situation, even the most embarrassing one. Because your will is to learn and to come closer to the Creator. Thank you very much. Chazak Uvaruch.